welcome back students welcome to my digital classroom in my today's video i'm going to discuss with you all the question answers of chapter number 8 a case study on tourism in switzerland so without wasting much time let's get started question number 1 will start with first that is very short type questions question number 8 what do you mean by the tourist miracles europe this answer you will get on page number 90 there is a box revisal first uh, first point france italy spain are together famous as tourist miracles now question number b that is name the capital of switzerland that is bonn question number c name any four tourist attractions of switzerland that is given on the revisal box itself second point uh, last second point last second point many places are given you can write any four tourist attractions now question number d what is the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of switzerland that is also given on the revisal box fifth point and uh, fourth point fourth point you will get latitudinal extent and fifth point you will get longitudinal extent then moving towards the next question question number 2 short answer type question question number 1 What do you know about the location of Switzerland? So this answer you will get on page number eighty-five, and you will get a location section. That full section you have to write location, whatever is given in the location section that you need to write full. Question number B that is mention the countries that surround Switzerland. This particular question also is answered on page number eighty-five. There is a section border areas. First paragraph you need to mention. the i'm reading it out switzerland is bordered by italy to the south france to the west germany to the north and austria to the east then comes the next question write a short note on the following there are three topics given zurich the rhine falls the swiss national park all these topics are covered on page number 88 whatever is given in these topics that you need to write full Then comes question number D. Discuss the connectivity of Switzerland with the world and other European countries. Very less is given on your book. That is given on page number eighty nine. There is a section connectivity. Only two three lines are given. So you need to write on on your own because it cannot be of two three lines. You have to add up two three more lines on your own. Then comes question number three. long answer type question question number a describe four characteristics of lake geneva and jung frog jog these answers you will get on because you are going to maintain two paragraphs in this an uh, this question because you have to write four four characteristics of each so lake geneva and jung frog jog you will get on page number 87 and 88 87 you will get jung frog jog and 88 you will get lake geneva the other part so if you're not getting four four points in each you kindly do on your own still having any difficulty ask then comes next question question number 3b discuss the role of swiss tourism in gdp of switzerland this particular question is answered on page number 90 role of swiss tourism in gdp that you have to write Now question number 4 that is think and answer Switzerland is a world famous tourist attraction page number 87 introduction part you have to write Switzerland is world famous for its snow capped peaks of the alps beautiful lakes deep valleys big glaciers picturesque land, land lakeside hamlets Switzerland is like a fairy tale beauty tourist visit the place for its scenic beauty natural sceneries and for many more cultural attractions now the next question is tourism can be defined as a driver of economic growth and development of the country for uh, for uh, getting the answer of this particular question you need to turn to page number 80 90 and there you will get four points are given in the section role of swiss tourism in gdp four points these four points are by generating income by providing employment opportunities by doing investments and by enhancing report 
so these four points you have to write in question number 4b now the last question of this chapter which i am discussing is mention the famous names of the following countries of europe question number a is netherland so what is the famous name for netherland so netherland is also known as land of windmills or land of tulips tulip is a flower question number b switzerland it is also known as playground of europe question number c norway land of midnight sun and question number d finland that is land of thousand lakes so students in in this chapter we have discussed about the question answers of the chapter number 8 uh, that is switzerland case study on to uh, uh, on tourism in switzerland in the next video i'll be taking some specific questions and those specific questions which have been you know have been on demand Uh, so uh, from different different chapters so all those specific questions will be discussed in the next video if you have any questions which you don't know you can write in the comment section i will surely mention in my next video so see you in the next video thank you for watching take care bye bye